If you are feeling like you've had a bit of a slump and things are becoming overwhelming, then this is the video for you because we are here to do a 10 minute tidy up challenge. I'm going to put a real life timer here on the screen. We'll have a bit of a chat, a bit of a tidy up. If this sounds interesting to you, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell and let's get into it. Hey Siri, set a 10 minute timer. 10 minutes counting down. Hey friends, welcome back or welcome to a tidy up. If this is the first time we're meeting, thank you so much for popping over to my side of YouTube here on my channel. I love to share all things cleaning, organizing, just those little shortcuts that I've found in being a mom to four kids that is working full time. And since moving to this house, I've really felt overwhelmed with how I can keep on top of it. So future videos are going to include us doing some renovations around the house, but also creating some new systems because with the rooms being different, the furniture being different, we are having to figure out what that looks like. This is the first time we've had tiles with kids and boy, oh boy, they are just dirty all the time. So I need to figure out how I can get on top of this. But as you can see, the kids just make a mess after every single meal. So this is me just doing a quick sweep. I've now decided to keep the vacuum in the dining room and that has made after meal processes a heck of a lot easier to tidy up for. But we currently have five chairs and a high chair. I'm just adjusting the table because uh, if it sits on the tiles incorrectly, it has a bit of a wobble to it. But I am enjoying, thoroughly enjoying using my Norwex products. I'm just cleaning down the glass, but man, the kids just don't tell me when things happen and things get caked on. So I needed to go through and kind of loosen up everything and then I could go through and polish the glass after that. This side was a side that was getting dumped with a lot of stuff, including things that I had unpacked from the old house but never just put up. So we've got some affirmation posters, some Bible verses. I am just cleaning up some flowers that my friends have given me, birthday cards, artwork from the kids, changing the month over because we're officially in July, which is super exciting because it's birthday month. But yes, just doing a bit of a tidy up because this seemed to be becoming a bit of a junk corner. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to give it another wipe down. I'm just going through the pile, picking up anything that I don't want to throw out. I find it's easier to just do this in one big lump rather than constantly doing it throughout the entire sweep. Now the messiest part of all, the kitchen. It's absolutely me to blame and not the kids. I am a very messy cook and things just end up on the ground because I just figured I will just sweep it up later. But I've opened up the dishwasher because I just want everything to air dry a little bit now that it has finished. But yes, there is a stool in my kitchen because I am so tiny that I end up needing the stool to grab things. But now that the kids are becoming a little bit more independent, especially the girls, they are also using the stool to get into places. But um, this is supposed to be the pantry for food. But because of the way that the storage is working, this has ended up being where we're keeping all of the breakable items just because the boys find it difficult to get into and the shelves are higher up. Otherwise, every single cupboard in this kitchen is all at little people's height. And I just don't want the boys to get into the cupboards and literally have a smashingly good time. So this will hopefully change when we get the kitchen renovated. We're currently in the process of getting some quotes from some different builders. We just really need a functional kitchen because this is definitely the heart of our home. We are a family where I swear that if food is a love language, it would 100% be all of ours. So I spend a lot of the time in our kitchen just making and baking, getting things organized and it's just not a functioning space for us right now. So I'm very looking forward to the future and seeing what plans come up and how we can make this work for us. This cupboard I unpacked and I did it left to right and realized since being here that it's just not 
working for me. So I've had to get the stool <laughs> because I can't reach. And I'm just changing coffee cups and teacups over, making sure that the cups that are on the right side are the ones that I want to be grabbing and that cups that are less frequently used are either on the top shelf or like Michael's cups are on the top shelf because he can reach them. And yeah, ones that I want are down the bottom right. I find the next step of putting away cutlery is great, but once again, this cutlery drawer I just bought from the cheap shop and it's really tiny compared to our last one and it's just not working for us. But we're making do because we're very thankful and blessed for this new home. But now the fun begins because the side is going to become a lot tidier. And this I feel is the step that really helps me to feel like I'm starting to get on top of everything. If you couldn't tell at the beginning of the video, I was very disheartened to actually do this. I was feeling rather overwhelmed, especially because I had just decluttered and done a massive toy rotation, which is in next week's video. So stay tuned for that but I really wanted to surprise Michael when he came home from work by having a fully clean back end of the house. And a massive thing for him is he loves it when the kitchen and dining room is tidy, just because we spend up a lot of time here as a family. So we wanted to make sure that this was all tidied up before I picked the kids up from vacation care and daycare. So this was the part where I was definitely feeling a lot more hopeful that I was seeing progress and things were becoming tidy. So. Let's keep packing the dishwasher. Always those last minute things that you find lying around the kitchen that you kind of play a bit of Tetris with in the top drawer. But now that it's all packed, I'm gonna get my little dishwashing tablet. I just throw it in. It's the way that Mick and I have always done it. I put it on, I'm just gonna do a 90 minute cycle. That's my favorite go-to. I know Mick has a different one that he loves to do. And then we always lock it because the boys will come in and press buttons. But now the major task is about to start and that is cleaning up this side bench. It is such a blessing to have a massive bench, but with that we have found that it is incredibly hard to maintain its tidiness because it's a great dumping ground. As you can see, everything just gets shoved on the side, especially because this is like the central location. When you've come in from the garage, you just dump stuff and then the kids go to their bedrooms or playroom or whatever. So this is the last bit and in two minutes you are going to see this go from massive clutter to it being thoroughly sorted away. I will bin things that I don't need. I will put things in storage that need to be in storage. It's just gonna look amazing, so stay tuned. Are you a teapot person or do you make cups of tea? I know that if I've got someone that I'm having my cup of tea with, I would rather make a teapot. And I've got three teapots that are just chilling on the top of the microwave cupboard up there. Um, I love a cup of tea and my mom being British, this is just one thing that I love to do is have a chat and a cuppa. I am a thousand percent a coffee person in the morning and around three o'clock I need another pick me up. But if it's just for social and it's just for a chat, then I will definitely sit down with a cuppa and maybe a bicky that I've made. I have been encouraged by one of my work friends to do some sourdough discard biscuits. So I've loved doing that. And I even made some sourdough discard scones and froze half the batch. I'm finding that the recipes that I'm finding are making a lot, which is great because I can freeze some for later and then have ample amount for our family because even a dozen is only two servings for each person in my household, which is mind blowing. Thirty seconds left. Hold on tight because this is going to be gorgeous. Thank you. 
Thanks so much for cleaning with me. I hope it has motivated you. I know once I could start to see progress, it really just made me want to finish. And I'm so glad that I have because now it's so clean and it makes my heart so happy. If you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell. Here on the end screen, I picked two more videos just for you because this parenting gig doesn't come with a rule book. We only have each other and I'll see you over there. Bye.